Rolling. I'm Trip Mitchell for the Boxing Channel, host by Lara Montriosen, with Christina Poncher uh, from Top Rank, and who helps us out on uh, the Boxing That's Channel, right. which we always appreciate. We do a great job. This fight was tough. There was a lot of bad blood, and it should have ended. It was an upset. Uh, the outcome where it was a, a uh, draw it was a little disheartening, I think, for everybody. Most definitely. I mean, with all the anticipation and the buildup in this fight, I mean, it was over a year in the making, and whether it be contract things back and forth and, and trash talking, and everyone wanted to see this fight pretty much end up in a knockout either way. And Lara coming in such a big favorite, I was like, ah, he's kind of uh, more of a favorite than I would have thought he would be, especially against Vonis being undefeated or whatnot. But um, it's always a disappointment when it ends like this because that's not what the fans want to see. It's not what either camp wants. So we'll see if they do it again. If they do it again, there's certainly a lot of bad blood. We saw one of the most egregious low blows I've seen in a long time and ugly bad blows. Definitely. Yeah. Neither one had a point deduction. Neither one was, according to the referee, done purposely, but definitely a nasty fight. And when I talked to Freddie Roach, as you did post-fight, he's not sure if a rematch is the best idea against what he pretty much called a dirty fighter. He said they might want to go in a different direction and maybe get to that Canelo fight eventually in another way because... That obviously, in his eyes, was not a fight. That Canelo fight is the big money fight that every fighter is looking for. That would be a great, great fight. Especially at that division. And I mean, both Lotto, Lotto's won a title before. Bonas hasn't won a, a big title like this. And they were looking at this fight as their ticket to that big payday and, and getting on a pay-per-view because Bonas hasn't had that opportunity to headline a pay-per-view yet. So this kind of a, puts a little wrench in, in the plans, but we'll see what Top Rank has planned for Bonas and a golden boy has planned for Lada, and we'll see what happens. Well, a great night, great undercard, fun Still, night, yes. and the win the hotel, first fight that I've had a chance to hear, it was marvelous, and uh, again, an outcome that we didn't like, but that's part of boxing. And still a good night of boxing, I mean, don't let this fight overshadow the great knockout by Jesse Magdaleno, Jesse Hart came out and had a great show, Mikey Garcia with that big left hook knockout, I mean, it was still a great, great night of boxing, it's just a bummer when the main event, or the co-main event, if you will, ends like this. And that happens in boxing, but we'll be back the next time. Stay tuned for the Boxing Channel in the weeks to come. We've got a great December coming up. For the Boxing Channel, I'm Trip Mitchell. Thanks for watching.